Chapter 1, Lesson 3, Convert Unit Rates. You may want to consider having a calculator handy for you for this lesson. The relationships among some commonly used customary and metric units of measures are shown in the table below. So 12 inches equals a foot, 16 inches equals a pound, 8 pounds, pints to the gallon, etc. These are just some commonly used metric units. There are others that you may know that aren't on this list. Each of the relationships can be written as unit ratios. Remember, in a unit ratio, the denominator is 1. So like a unit rate, a unit ratio um, has the unit of 1 in the denominator, but in this case, they're different units. So 12 inches per 1 foot, 12 inches equals 1 foot. 16 ounces per pound, 16 ounces equals 1 pound. 100 centimeters per meter, 100 centimeters equals 1 meter. So although it doesn't look like it, the numerator and the denominator are equal. 12 inches equals 1 foot. The value of each ratio is therefore 1 because any number divided by itself is 1. So just something a little different to think about. You can convert one rate to an equivalent rate by multiplying by a unit ratio or its reciprocal. When you convert unit rates, you include the units in your computation. This process of including units of measures as factors when you compute is called dimensional analysis. Letter A. A remote control car travels at a rate at 10 feet per second. How many inches per second is this? So the first thing I'm going to do is write 10 feet per second as a fraction. So we have 10 feet per one second. And you must write your units. We want to convert it to inches per second. Now the seconds doesn't change, but the feet changes to inches. So that right there tells me what I need to change. I need to get rid of feet because it's going to become inches. So if we look back at our table, a little too far there, if we look back at our table, 12 inches equals one foot. Okay, so I know I'm going to use 12 inches equals one foot, but the question is what goes where in our new fraction? Because I want to get rid of feet, and feet is in the numerator here, I'm going to put feet in the denominator. Because what happens is those feet will cancel out. Just like any number divided by itself is 1, any unit divided by itself is 1. Or in other words, cancels out. If feet is on the bottom, inches would be on top. And I know that there are 12 inches and 1 foot. So 12 goes with the inches, and 1 goes with the foot. From here, all we need to do is multiply. 10 times 12 is 120. 1 times 1 is 1. The unit left on top is inches, so I'll carry it over. And the unit in the denominator is seconds. The last step is to divide 120 divided by 1 which is 120, and our units are inches per second. So we just converted 10 feet per second into inches per second, 120. Let's try another one with a couple steps. Marvin walks at a speed at 7 feet per second. How many feet per hour is this? So what we're changing is seconds into hours. However, we can't go from seconds to hours just like that. We have to first go from seconds to minutes and then minutes to hours. I don't know how many seconds are in an hour, but I can tell you how many seconds are in a minute and how many minutes are in an hour. So here we're actually going to do a couple steps. First things first, we need to change seconds. Since seconds is in the denominator, I'm going to put it in the numerator. Now, again, 
I can't change it right to hours. So the first thing I'm going to do is change it to minutes. The seconds will cancel out, which is exactly what I want. And I know that there are 60 seconds in one minute. So now we need to change our minutes because we still need hours. So because I'm changing that, minutes is in the denominator, I'm going to put it in the numerator. And I can go from minutes to hours, and that'll get rid of our minutes. There are 60 minutes in one hour. Now the units I have left are feet and hours, which is exactly what I want. Now we can multiply. On your calculator, multiply 7 times 60 times 60. You get 25,200 over 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. Divide, and you still get the same answer of 25,200. And our units, feet per hour. Letter C. An Amtrak train travels at 125 miles per hour. Convert the speed to miles per minute. Hour to minute. Round to the nearest tenth. That's important because we know we want a decimal. So here we go. I want to change hours to minutes. Since I'm changing hours and it's in the denominator, I'm going to place it in the numerator. I'm changing hours to minutes. And I can go right there. That's simple. So the hours cancel, which is exactly what I want. And I'm left with miles and minutes. Well, there are 60 minutes in an hour, so make sure you place the 60 next to the minute label and the 1 next to the hour label. Multiply across. 125 times 1 is 125. And 1 times 60 is 60. It wants a decimal. Sixty goes into one twenty-five twice, which is one hundred twenty. Subtract and get five. Add a decimal point. Sixty cannot go into fifty. Add another zero. Sixty goes into five hundred eight times, which is four hundred eighty. And we're going to stop right there. I need to round to the tenths place. So you need to go one more. We found the next digit, which was 8. So find your place, look next door, 5 or greater, add one more. So it's 2.1 miles per minute. Letter D. The swordfish can swim at a rate of 60 miles per hour. How many feet per hour is this? It gives us the conversion right here, but it is in your chart. We are changing from miles to feet because I need to get rid of miles, and it's in the numerator. I'm going to put miles in the denominator and feet in the numerator. There are 5,280 feet in one mile. The miles cancel, and now we multiply. 60 times 5,280 is 316,800. The denominator is 1. Divide it out, 316,800 feet per hour. Again, we've got feet on top hour on the bottom.